So today I'm just looking at a very small but uh, easy contact form 7 tutorial and this is a really simple plugin that you may already have integrated into your WordPress uh, website. If you haven't then I recommend it, it's very simple as you can see it gets uh, five points, uh, sorry five, um, five million uh, active installations it was updated recently so it's still kept up to date and it pretty much uh, serves all of the latest versions of WordPress. So uh, if you do a search for Contact Form 7 then you can integrate that as a plugin. And so if I just show you the uh, situation, so if I click on this uh, course, it has here a, a, a form to fill out. But how do I get the subject to appear to be the course itself? automatically and yet at the same time enable the person to be able to then delete it and change the subject if they wanted to talk about something different. Well I'm going to show you how to do that exactly in this tutorial. So I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I use my 20 years of experience in web design to help others uh, running businesses to make some simple changes or to at the same time increase their ability to find new clients, to get new business and to improve their business on the websites. So uh, when it comes to improving your local business then uh, you'll find my tutorials helpful. If you haven't subscribed already, then make sure you subscribe now, and then you won't miss out on how you can grow your business online as quickly as possible. So let's take the question that we have today then. So the situation is here is a course, Advanced Mind Fitness Strategies Booking, and uh, my client wants this subject form here, but it, rather than someone have to write that in and get it wrong, uh, what we want to do is just enable it as a default setting that can still be changed as well. And it's quite simply done. If you go to the form itself, so this is using Contact Form 7, and uh, what I'll do is I'll go into the administration of that contact form. So it's Advanced Mind Strategies. If I edit this contact form, and you'll see this is a standard kind of uh, installation of the contact form. And what you do is just with the subject, so what we're doing is we're, we're changing this area here. So we're going for the subject. So in the subject area here, at the moment, whatever text they put in will appear and then will be sent through in an email. But all you have to do is just click on that. And then if you put into quotes whatever it is you want it to appear there, so I want it to say Advanced Mind Fitness Strategies Booking, and then save it. And then that's it. It's as simple as that. So let's now go to, let's go right back to our course. So they click on the course, goes through to the page. This is the booking page, which has the booking here. But look, now we've got the Advanced Mind Strategies booking and they can just fill out their name and uh, then send it through. And if they did say, actually, it wasn't that I wanted to book, I wanted to book a different course. So for example, they wanted to do this course instead, then, but they're still using this form they can still change that. They can edit it, change it, and there you go. It's now a different course if they wanted to. And in that way, then they've got flexibility, but at the same time, by default, they're being asked to produce a document or to fill out some information that will help them to book the right online course. So hopefully that's been useful. Another one of those contact Form 7 uh, strategies. If you've got a WordPress website, you'll find that maybe just a useful way of increasing your uh, um, consistency when it comes to producing forms from your website. Thanks for watching.